Hi guys and welcome to another Bootstrap with Blueprints video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Well, we've been putting this little site together here. We initially made it with the Blueprints software, which is absolutely fantastic drag and drop for putting together sites. We put this one page to site together in about five minutes. If you want to use this software, they're offering an 80% discount. You can download it from the link below this video. So once we built it, we decorated it, put in the images and buttons and text that we wanted. Today, what we're going to do is make it actually do something. At the top, we've got a menu here. But apart from the home button, that's got a hashtag for a link, which will take you back to the top. The menu doesn't do anything. What we want to happen is when we click on these menu items, we want it to scroll to various different sections of our site. So let's go ahead and do that. First thing we want to do, here's our root folder that we created our site in. There's an index.html file that was output by the Blueprint software. That's what we'll be working on today. And here's the images that we've got included in our site. So I'm going to right click and open this with my text editor brackets. Brackets is absolutely awesome. If you don't have a text editor, it's absolutely free and you can download it from my link below. So once you've opened your index.html, let's go down to the menu. Here's the menu, Home, Features, Pricing, Team. And you'll notice just before it, there's an href or a link, hyperlink, and it's just got a hashtag in it. Now a hashtag, if you click on it, will just take you to the top of your page of whatever site you are. So if I go down here and hit any of these, it'll take me back to the top because they've all got a hashtag at the moment. That's all a hashtag does. So let's say we want to link to some sections. What I'll do, the home one, I'll leave that as just as a hashtag. The features one, let's call it hashtag feet features. I'm just making these short. Pricing, I'll do hashtag price. And team will do hashtag team funnily enough now we've got to make some targets for these to hit because it's going to look for an ID of feet price and team let's go down here's our pricing product features right here here's the section if we click on the opening section tag it'll highlight the closing one as well if you click on any div or section or heading or paragraph it'll show you if you click on the opener it'll show you the closer if you click on the closer it'll show you the opening tag which is really useful so here's our first section that we wanted to call features and we did hashtag feet for this so I've got to say ID I've got to give it an ID and the IDs have to be unique they can only be one of them on a page and in between the two little inverted commas there I'm going to say feet that's great now let's go down to our next section. I've got this highlighted, so we'll see the end of the section when we get there. There is the end of the section. Our next se section is a video section. Let's click on that. I don't need that. Here's the next section, which is blueprints. It's a carousel. That's not what I'm looking for. So if we click on that one, go down. Call to action section. We don't need that one. Grab this one. Go down to the bottom, it's not that one. We're looking for the team. Here it is, our team. So it's this section right here. Again, we'll give it an ID. And we'll call it team. That's what we call it in the menu, hashtag team. And we'll go down to our next section, which is here. And this is our pricing. So this is the price section that we want. So we'll give it a unique ID. ID equals inverted commas. And this is price. I think that was it. So we've now given these sections unique names or IDs. ID, price, team, and feet for features. We check up on our menu up here. Yep, that's correct. Feet, price, and team. So let's save this. 
Control S to save. Go back to the website. Refresh the website. Now when I click on these, they should jump to the sections. So home, we're already at the top. Features. Yep, you see it jumps to the feature second section. Pricing jumps to the pricing section. But we've got a bit of a problem here. Well, not a problem as much as it's working, but I don't want it to jump down like that. I want it to actually scroll, smooth scroll. So we can add another little bit of code to the top of our website. We open our brackets here. We need to go right up to the top, to the opening HTML tag. Go inside there. And we're going to add a bit of style. Style equals, open and close some inverted commas again. And we're going to say scroll behavior, scroll dash behavior. colon and we want it to be smooth semicolon scroll behavior smooth let's save our changes control s and see what difference it's made to the site now fresh the site let's go back up to the top let's try it now there we go features pricing team there we have it. We've now got our scrolling site, scrolling one page site. Now this one, we just left it as a hashtag. And as you can see, it takes it straight to the top. So there, that's how easy it is to turn your bootstrap page into a one page scrolling site. Simple as that. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there, as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.